got what it takes to rock, rock, rock. Hit me. You make me wanna pull my hair out. You make me wanna pull my hair out. Let's talk about sex. So it's the end of the day. You get home and you want to go out. But you want to put on your sexiest shoe, but the problem is your sexiest shoe won't fit because your feet are small. We call that clinically pedal edema. So what we're going to discuss today is why is your foot swollen and what you can do to prevent it from swelling in the future. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so this journey of swollen feet started this morning when you woke up and made your breakfast choice. So you decided to have a frozen waffle and four pieces of turkey bacon. Guess what? Salt. Then for lunch you went and you had chicken strips and french fries. Guess what? Salt. Now each teaspoon of salt here represents about 2300 milligrams of salt. And you haven't even had dinner yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a couple hours and we're going to come back to this potato which represents your foot so I can show you your foot on 7000 milligrams of salt by the end of the day. Alright? Hello. So we're back and it's been about three hours. And so if you look, the potato is now full of water when before it was sitting in water. Why is that? Because of the salt. And remember the potato represents your foot. So the same thing happened today with your feet that's happening with that potato. All of the salt caused the water to rush into the tissues and cause a swollen foot and you couldn't even fit into your stiletto. So in order to stay the sexiest and the healthiest version of yourself, I want you to do two things. One, Keep your salt intake to a minimum. Keep it less than 1,500 milligrams a day. You do that and you won't have that end of the day swelling. Second thing is to drink as much water as possible. The more water that you drink actually will dilute out the salt effect and you won't have so much water rushing to fill in the spaces causing bad swollen foot. So I'm Dr. Rachel and my goal is to keep you as sexy and healthy as possible. And I hope this helps. So these condoms got me going like that. Oh yeah, New Trojan Charged. They sure know how to treat a lady. Which makes them a guy's best friend. Well that's New Trojan Charged. Extra deep ribs for her plus a pleasure charged lubricant for both. So it's charged from the start. Just how we like it. Ladies first. Well if you ask me, it's just condom courtesy. Yes. Trojan, America's number one most trusted condom brand, introduces Charged. You can't wait to get it on. After you. <gasps> Hey, Dr. Ross, my girlfriend's pregnant. She's super horny, and to me that feels redundant. Plus, my seed's in her, and that feels rude. What do you think? All right, so pregnancy and sex is very, very important, and I want you to understand that you're not hurting the child and you're not causing any harm by having sex. Sexual, sex is a natural part of pregnancy, and it's important for you to, to develop these intimate connections while you're pregnant and instead of waiting nine months to start back up. Okay, so one of my favorite positions that I tell pregnant partners to use is the backwards position. Riding your partner backwards allows you to keep your pregnant belly kind of kind of to yourself a little bit because is that the reverse cowboy. Yes. Do you <laughs> so you want to keep glancing back and making eye contact so that you're reminding him that this is his, this and his is yours. Because I have some dolls. So pregnancy and sex need to mesh together. This shouldn't be the time where you get scared. This should be the time where you turn it up a little bit. 